Good morning to you all and welcome for the word of God and the reflection. Today we are uh, celebrating the the feast of the conversion of Saint Paul. So one of the powerful conversion story in the in the Bible. So I would like to share with you the the story, the conversion story from the Acts of the Apostles in today's first reading. So let us begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul addressed the people in these words. I am a Jew born in Tarsus in Cilicia but brought up in this city at the feet of Gamaliel i was educated strictly in our ancestral law and was zealous for god just as all of you are today i persecuted this way to death binding both men and women and delivering them to prison even the high priest and the whole council of elders can testify on my behalf for from them i even re- received letters to the brothers and set out for damascus to bring back to jerusalem in chains for punishment those there as well on that journey as i drew near to damascus about noon a great light from the sky suddenly shone around me i fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to me saul saul why are you persecuting me i replied who are you sir and he said to me i am jesus the nazarene whom you are persecuting my companion saw the light but did not hear the voice of the one who spoke to me i asked what shall i do sir the lord answered me get up and go into damascus and there you will be told about everything appointed for you to do since i could see nothing because of the brightness of that light i was led by hand by my companions and entered Damascus a certain Ananias a devout observer of the law and a highly spoken of by all the Jews who lived there came to me and stood there and said Saul my brother regain your sight and at that very moment i regained my sight and i saw him then he said the god of our ancestors designated you to know his will to see the righteous one and to hear the sound of his voice for you will be his witness before all to what you have seen and heard now why delay get up and have yourself baptized and your sins washed away calling upon his name God, the word of the lord thanks be to god dear friends today we celebrate the the conversion of uh, saint paul saint paul is known as the apostle to the gentiles you know normally we say uh, saul was converted to paul but it it was much more than that saul was converted to christ because his conversion was by Christ and for Christ and in Christ that's why saint paul says you know i have been crucified with christ it is no longer i who live but christ who lives in me you know saint paul's life you know centered around christ the before the conversion it was to defame christ and after the conversion it was to proclaim christ the change from the defaming to proclaiming 
and St. Paul's conversion was only turning from evil, that is, persecuting Christians, but also turning to good, that is, proclaiming Christ. There are two significant, uh, significant things that happened on the way to Damascus. First of all, St. Paul was on his journey to Damascus to, to persecute more Christians. He has witnessed the stoning of St. Stephen, the first martyr. And then he was proceeding towards the Damascus to persecute more Christians. But uh, on, on the way to Damascus, he was riding his horse. The light fell on him, the light of Christ, the risen Lord. And he could not remain on the horse. He fell. He fell to the ground. No matter how high we reach in our glory or prosperity, name and the fame in this world, you know, one day we must fall down. No matter how high we fly, the sky is not our abode. We must land on the ground. And at that time he heard a voice. Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? You know, God speaks to us even in our dark moments. Even when we go astray from God being in a state of sin, God speaks to us. He still speaks to us in our conscience and calls us back to Him. If we heed His voice, we will be saved. If not, we are doomed. So brothers and sisters, St. Paul not only realized the voice of Jesus, but also he realized his own fault of of being persecuted him that means jesus jesus did not say why are you persecuting my people he why are you persecuting me so this realization led him to acknowledge later for me to live is christ and to die is gain says saint paul he was not only chosen to be an apostle to proclaim the gospel alone but also to witness Christ by his life and death. He is therefore the patron saint of, you know, missionaries for his zealous work for the Lord among the Gentiles. You know, like St. Paul, we may not be, you know, persecuting others. Nevertheless, our every sin, our every brokenness that we commit against others is an offense against Christ. Who cries out to us, calling out our name as he did to say, as he did to Saul, and saying to us, "Why are you doing this to me?" Each time when we hurt others through my words and deeds and actions, I am offending Christ. For Jesus Himself said, "Whatever you do to the least of my brothers and sisters, you are done unto me." I am persecuting Christ by persecuting my own brothers and sisters. And at that moment, God, Jesus is calling out by our name, saying to us, why are you doing this to me? As Jesus said to Saint Saul, why are you persecuting to me? So conversion of Saint Paul teaches us that God can change our future. No matter how bad we were in the past, what matters is how good we are in the present. Let's not forget that God can bring peace to our past and purpose to our present and the hope to our future. So on this feast of the conversion of St. Paul, let us pray for all who do not know Christ, for the grace to preach the gospel as St. Paul did, and the wisdom to remember that God's grace is powerful enough to turn the greatest sinners into the greatest saints. So let us examine ourselves, you know, in what way I need conversion. Converting my life to God, converting myself to Jesus. 
in what areas of my life i am still living in dark i need the light of christ let us introspect let us examine ourselves what are those areas maybe my anger maybe my pride or maybe my unforgiveness or maybe my gossiping or maybe my you know the immorality what are those areas of my life i i am still need the light of christ i need conversion back to christ let us pray over it and let us bring that darkness the brokenness to jesus in the sacrament of confession let us pray lord god may our lives give witness to our belief in jesus as our lord and master who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit god forever and ever amen the lord be with you with your spirit may almighty god bless you the father the son and the holy spirit amen god loves you keep smiling